boom, what's up, my name's Seam. You know, a lot of people say that fasting makes you energize, you feel like a million bucks, which is the truth. But at the same time, some people tell that they feel slightly tired because of that. So why is this so? Recently, I went on to Anthony DiClemente's podcast, Biohacking Secrets, and we're going to discuss about why you're feeling slightly tired while fasting and what to do about it. So check it out. He's dead tired. What about the people who try to fast and feel awful? Weak, mm -hmm. shaky legs, brain fog. What's going on there? Mm. Uh, usually, uh, a lot of these problems come from uh, uh, mineral deficiencies and lack of electrolytes. Because, yeah, like sodium and uh, potassium and magnesium, those are the big, big biggest free uh, electrolytes that people are already mostly deficient of. And especially when they're fasting, then they tend to lose it by excreting them through the urine and, uh, and, you know, dehydration. So like generally, whenever I do feel tired slightly, then it may have to do with drinking a little bit of water with some added sea salt or pink lemon, pink lemon and rock salt into it. So that's going to fix a lot of the issues of uh, lethargy and uh, heart palpitations even and muscle cramps and things like that. And generally, like, there's also the problem that if you're fasting, then you may become, yeah, you, you're going to, subconsciously you're going to start moving less because your body has less energy so if you stay indoors all the time if you're sitting on your couch while fasting then you're kind of mi missing the point you still have to keep moving around you still have to get sunlight into your body and uh, adjust yourself to the circadian rhythms and get some fresh air and things like that and uh, whenever i do feel tired then going for a walk a little brisk walk for 10 to 15 minutes is gonna definitely recharge the entire body and you're going to feel awesome after that yeah it's so counterintuitive when you feel like garbage all you want to do is sit on the couch yeah, or watch yeah. videos or something like that and i've at least realized in those moments when i'm tired if i do what i want to do which is nothing it just <laughs> extends the amount of time i feel like shit yeah whereas if i'm like all right snap out of it go for a jog jump on the rebounder go for a walk yeah. do some breath work Something that is an expenditure of energy, where even though you, you feel like you're already shortchanged in that department, if you put out a little bit more, it's, you end up feeling way better than yeah. just riding it out and being lazy. Snap out of it. And you'd mentioned the electrolytes earlier, and that being another one of the reasons that people who kind of transition to fasting, while they're still building their, their fasting muscle, may experience some of that weakness or um, wane, waning energy. You just dump pink Himalayan salt in there or do you use an electrolyte supplement like salt stick or something else? Mm. Uh, there are like a lot of electrolyte supplements, but um, most of the ratios of them or the, or the quantities, they aren't really worth it in terms of money and uh, and convenience but you can get like most of the bang for your buck by simply using regular good quality sea salt or pink lemon, pink lemon rock salt and uh, to get the sodium and for like things like potassium and uh, iodine and magnesium then there are these salt substitutes and uh, in the state there's this brand called new salt that has like a ton of potassium for it but in europe there are like different alternatives for it i'm using this finnish brand called uh Bono Suola or something like that but yeah it's basically a salt substitute it has less sodium but it's gonna have more potassium and iodine so a lot of the research is showing that sodium is not the problem it's when we it's it's the processing of the sodium that's the issue yeah. what, what's the deal with these salt substitutes uh, like i think the salt substitutes are generally safe and uh, they're not gonna raise your blood pressure because you're already fasting and uh, your insulin is so low which is gonna prevent any you know neg any negative side effects of sodium retention or something that you know the issue is the yeah the fear of salt and uh, the fear of uh, sodium raising your blood pressure comes from uh, the presence of insulin as well and if you're doing like a keto diet or if you're fasting then you eliminate insulin, you have lower blood sugar in general, and you actually need more salt and more sodium to kind of counterbalance that effect. So research is, yeah, it's, it's, it's showing that it's not the sodium, it's the insulin that is causing the issues. Mm -hmm. and, and that's 
part of the reason that it's that our electrolyte balance can become thrown off more so when we're fasting than when we're regularly eating because of these changes in our insulin and, and we, we don't have yeah. salted food constantly yeah. being consumed. Yeah, yeah, like the, the kidneys, uh, they're going to detect low levels of insulin and they're going to flush a lot or they're going to release, they're going to hold onto less water and you may potentially simply start urinating a lot and uh, you're going to lose some electrolytes. So to, to negate that effect, you, you want to make sure that you're not drinking too much water either because simply gulping down unlimited amounts of water is going to simply make you piss it out all of it and uh, also make sure that uh, you do like balance it out whenever you do become dehydrated by adding more sodium into your foods Salt. all right that's it for this short clip if you want to listen to the rest of the podcast then i'll leave the link to anthony's youtube channel and podcast in the description box below so you can check it out but other than that thanks for watching click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay energized stay empowered